And welcome back to the channel. I am Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church in Lake City, Iowa. And this devotion is for Tuesday, July 9th of 2024. Working our way right through the month of July, aren't we? And we're working our way through the book of Galatians as well. Uh, we're in chapter 5. Today we're just going to look at three verses, 13, 14, and 15. We're taking a bit much smaller bite today than we have the last few days. Um, but 13, 14, and 15 are a change in cadence, if you will, or, or demeanor, or emote, if you will. Um, Paul's been really, really wound up, hasn't he? Um, he's, you know, cursed those guys that are telling, teaching the wrong thing and all of that. And then just in verse 12 in chapter 5, he left off with, I wish those who unsettle you would mutilate themselves. And as I talked about on Thursday last week, that word mutilate means castrate. Ouch. Uh, literally, ouch. Um, he's taking from the circumcision, to complete the job, and castrate themselves. Um, he is being, you know, he's, it's a bit harsh, let's just be quite honest. Um, so you know how that goes sometimes when you're in a discussion or hear Paul's writing? And all of a sudden he comes to that point and you realize, maybe I've gotten a little bit hard on my my friend, my my family, whatever, these other folks, these 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 Galatians who I love. Um maybe and here he's actually he's being hard on those other disciples, isn't he? Those super apostles, if you will, of the uh, Judaizers. Um and so he takes his foot off the gas, if you will. He's had that thing, you know, smash clear to the floor here in verse 12. And in 13, he really lets off. Um, and in verse 15, he is a little bit ironic, if you will. Um, Paul seems to, to uh, you know, well, let's just read it and say, see what we say. 13 through 15 in chapter 5 of Galatians. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants of one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. Uh, well, we can, you know, we can get into these backbiting modes and we've seen, you know, if you've been around churches, you, around people, period, you don't need to, we don't need to blame churches only. It's just people um, we get into these arguments, and sometimes they, they escalate and they get out of hand. Um, I've seen that more than once in my life. I've been there. I've done it. I think, you know, perhaps that we could say that Paul maybe has done it in verse 12. Uh, he's let things get a little bit carried away, and he realized that. He, that's why he's backed off here in 13, 14, 15. And that's why he's maybe saying what he says in 15, is because he realizes I succumb to it too. For you are called to freedom, brethren, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. We have been saved by Christ's sacrifice. We have the, we have that salvation. And what Paul's saying here is similar to the way he talks about in Romans. Don't just go sin so the grace can abound all the more. We don't um, we don't increase Christ's grace by going out and, and causing a whole bunch of sinning. And uh, we don't, you know, Sin. That's a good word, isn't it? A bunch of sinning. A bunch of sinning. Um, that's not how it works. We're supposed to avoid that. It's not, we're not, it's not our job to make God's grace to be you know, more magnanimous. God, God's just saying, um, go and sin no more, as he said to the woman in John, the woman caught in adultery. Um, but through love be servants of one another. We're supposed to love one another. That is our calling. Uh, for the whole law is fulfilled in one word. Remember when Jesus was asked about the greatest commandment. The love of the Lord your God, uh, you know, and to love your neighbor as yourself. On these two things hang all the laws and the prophets. I mean, all of the Old Testament. The way we discern and decipher the Old Testament and what it's saying to us. Um, and for that matter, the New Testament as well. The way we do that is through the lens of love. Um, if it, if our, our, cor our corrective lenses, uh, are, mi are <laughs> they're not correct. It's a bad, it's a bad diagnosis if we are de deciphering it through something other than lenses of love. 
Um, and so Paul said, love your neighbors, you love yourself. Repeating what Jesus has told us in Matthew. It's not, this is not new. Paul's not created a new thing by any stretch. Um, but if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. And again, I think Paul probably realized in verse 12, ooh, I'm getting carried away. These Judaizers, these super apostles that I'm contending with, um, maybe I need to back off just a little bit. And so he does. And again, as I said in verse 13, uh, lest he be consumed by his own, his own uh, uh, vitriol for, one, for, for them. Um, we, need to be, we need to keep our glasses from getting steamed up when we get hot. Because you can't see clearly through steamed up glasses, folks. Um, and we all would do well to remember that. Um, I will con confess I've got a bit of a bad temper. And that's something that I've, you know, I've been burdened with my entire life. Um, and it's something we need to be wary of. It's something we need to be, to be careful of. We don't let our words get ahead of us. Um, that's, what, that's where it is. And I'm going to leave you there. Keep this one short and pithy. We'll pick up there uh, at verse 16 uh, in the devotion for Thursday, which I'm going to record right now. Have a blessed day. Remember to be a blessing to someone today. If you like these devotions, if you gain something from them, Please like and subscribe. Come on back. Feel free to share them. We'd love to have you share them. We'd love to have your help in growing the channel. Take care. God bless. God loves you. Bye-bye.